All right, so today we're going to do a couple of what I think are pretty um, simple and fundamental things. So I'm going to show you how to set up a specific type of view with a very specific camera angle. Half of you probably already know that already. Um, I'm going to walk you through the basic settings, uh, the essentials for what to modify when you're trying to uh, develop a rendering. Um, and then we're going to set up a way of sort of testing various settings. Okay, so it's pretty simple. And we're going to do that in uh, either Illustrator or Photoshop. Um, just, I don't think I, I did survey you guys about Photoshop and Illustrator, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys were, yeah. Okay, so I feel comfortable with that. But, um, so anyway, what we're going to start with is setting up the, the camera angle. Um, so I mentioned that this is going to be a one point perspective. So first and foremost, you must be sure that every single one of your um, viewports right, whichever one you're working in, is actually a perspective viewport. So you can verify that a few ways. You can just look at it and make sure it says perspective. Um, at the same time, go over to this side of your um, viewport properties, right, all the way up top, and make sure that that says perspective, um, sorry, down here, that uh, the projection pull down says perspective as well, because you could accidentally switch it to parallel, and then you're going to get something that's more of an axonometric like that. That's not what we want to do. So we'll use that at some point, but not right now. Okay, so perspective is what we're looking for. Um, so we need to actually set a, a very specific location for our camera. And um, there are a few, I guess, uh, challenges in setting that up because where your camera is positioned um, in space is uh, sometimes not as easily apparent um, to what you would expect. I guess. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work off of the, the actual default box, right? So that would be all of these things that you saw here. Okay. So the way that I'm setting it up is just by aligning it to midpoints along that box. And you could put, you could actually place your camera anywhere you want, um, on a line. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to grab the midpoint. and just draw it like that. So um, it's getting cut off because my clipping plane is still on, um, but we can turn that off temporarily if we need to. So I'm gonna go back to my clipping plane, turn perspective, cut off, and now you can see that line here, okay? Um, it is very important that for a one point perspective, you place it appropriately. Now, theoretically, it could go anywhere in the space as long as there's enough, you know, visibility and the peripheral you know projections that you still feel like you're enclosed um, but for me I'm going to put mine directly in the center um, so I'm going to move that line from here to here and then um, I'm going to do a series of things um, it's kind of a little bit of a little bit of it is just kind of testing to make sure that it's what you would actually want you know where you would want the camera um, but basically, I'm just going to um, right click on the viewport name up there. And I'm going to say set camera. And I'm going to say place camera and target. OK, so what this allows you to do is it allows you to place a point in space that your camera will exist. Right. So it's basically your well, anyway. Um, so you place the, the point of where it exists and then a target for where it's supposed to be aimed and that would be the other side of the line and that makes an exact one point perspective view, right? Like that to exactly a, 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 an axial direction that I want my camera to point. So, um, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to catch up on that, but I did want to just bring up a few cautions about this. Um, be very careful that you're not realigning it or readjusting it by using the hotkeys. So if you hit control and you pull in and out, you'll notice that it, it kind of, see that how that line is jogging? Well, that means that I'm misaligned, right? I, I can't, I mean, the, I can't rectify that. So if I pull off to the side, it's going to pull me out of perspective right either direction so don't when you're doing something that has a very specific camera angle don't use the hotkey for for zooming in and out you know don't don't come back out like this and then go back in that way 
It's just, it's going to misalign you. So every time you do it, make sure that you set this appropriately by right click, set camera, place camera in target, and we're going to go from this point to that point. Okay. You guys have any questions about that so far? Probably not. It's pretty simple. So the last thing that I guess I want to uh, capture in this very simple introductory video to camera control is how to save a view. Um, again, I mentioned most of you probably already know this, but for those of you that don't, it's incredibly easy. Um, just right click on the view title, the viewport title, and then go down to uh, set view, and we're going to go to named views. So here in named views, um, it's actually, it's a pretty little versatile tool. It's just like a folder structure. You can like add subfolders and main folders and all this other stuff. And you can just basically save a whole series of predefined camera angles, um, which is incredibly important for drawing production. Yeah. Does it only save with, your, with that file or will it go to? With that file. Oh. Yeah. There might be a way to save it as a default or load them, but I, I've never used it if there is. Um, so anyway, uh, all you have to do is save as, so just uh, click on that, and then call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call this one point perspective A, just in case I want to save others. Okay, so that shows up as a little icon here. So if for some reason um, I accidentally rotate out, um, the thing that I guess you all probably are aware of is camera angles are not commands. So if I hit control Z, it's not gonna put me back in position where it was before. I actually have to save that location and double click it to go back. Or um, if I rotate out, if I uh, don't have that open, I can just right click and say set view. And in my file, it'll actually save my named views down here. So either way, we'll get you back there. Any questions? OK. So take a minute or two or a couple minutes to set a named view, and then we'll get going on the next segment in just a moment.